Right everybody, welcome to another video, welcome to another can I or will I or won't I video. I'm not exactly sure what it's going to be titled but it is very 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 nostalgic for me. I don't know about you guys but it is for me. I want to give you some backstory before we get into this challenge. Uh, the challenge is can I land a kickflip and if I can't, can I practice 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 until I do in one day. I'm not going home until I get it or give up but I don't give up too easily. So today we're in for some kickflips, we're in for some skateboarding action but the backstory behind this is, is twofold. Um, first of all recently I've been uh, doing a few, a few gaming videos on my YouTube channel and specifically uh, one of the games that you know, was the catalyst for me starting to do that was, was Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2. Now unbeknownst to me there was a remake of that game produced or of those two games produced uh, about four months ago in September of 2020. So I go down the rabbit hole of PS1 games. Actually, no, believe it or not guys, it started with me playing Pokemon Yellow for Game Boy on the stream. It took 30 hours to complete, but it was a whole lot of fun. Now the next game that I thought after that was another game of my childhood that I spent hours and hours and hours playing. And that game was none other than Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1. Not so much 2, but definitely 1. So I spent an entire evening trying to work out how I could get a PS1 emulator on my computer, just like I did for the Game Boy game, and play Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1. Now, I thought that I was going to have to deal with shit graphics. I thought that, you know, it's probably not going to be the same controls because it's on computer. But I was going to give it a go anyway. Lo and behold, I... And this happened for a reason. I couldn't get it done. All I fucking did was install a shitload of viruses. So I had to restart my computer, reset up here, go to sleep, wake up. I tried again, still didn't work. So I was like, fuck, all right then. Is there a Tony Hawk's Pro Skater game currently out for the PS4? I was expecting Tony Hawk's Pro Skater Street or Underground or Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 6 or something crazy like that. But lo and behold, a short four months earlier, that exact game that I was trying to get was remade with PS4 graphics, but with the exact same <laughs> skaters, the exact same uh, levels, everything that I just could not wait to get back into is included in this game. Yet it's in you know 2020 PS4 uh, level uh, graphics. And so I, I couldn't be happier. I simply couldn't be happier. Got the game, played it, that is the first part of the backstory of this video. Playing Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, remembering, you know, obviously throughout my fandom of that game, I was skating as well, down at the skate park, trying all the moves and shit, obviously. I think, believe it or not, man, I think I landed one 180 kickflip in my entire life. Other than that, the vert ramp completely scared the shit out of me. I would never have gone onto that, but I did use like a half pipe. I pretty much, yeah, I used a half pipe. My, the extent of my skills was a fakie into back into a, uh, a, a tail stall or a tail yeah a tail stall tail stand and then back in again up for a fakie come back tail stand you know what I mean and even that freaks me out so ramps were never for me but what I did love doing was go street skating even if I didn't grind any steps or fucking tail slide anything or or or, or ollie any gaps. Just skating around the streets was a lot of fun. So, with all that combined, that's why I'm down here today. The second reason is because I'm leaving New Zealand in a short 10 days now. Um, the, the date today is February the 2nd. I have booked my ticket to Australia to see my two girls, and that ticket is booked for February the 12th. So, what I'm telling myself is, uh, look, I'm going to take this camera, I'm definitely going to take the camera. Whether I'm going to take my PlayStation, whether I'm going to take any computer equipment, I have no idea. I'm going to give myself at least a month, a month to have a break from YouTube, to have a break from waking up every single morning thinking about YouTube, <laughs> going to bed every single night thinking about YouTube. I need a break from it. My kids deserve me 100% present and that is what I will do. So. There's two reasons. I want to get this done before I leave New Zealand 
and I, you, I, I, I came across Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2 again and that is probably my favourite game as a kid and for anyone who did tune into those streams you will have seen just how happy I was to discover the levels that I just remember like the back of my hand except to see them in HD you know what I mean see them with through an HDMI cable not <laughs> not the uh, the three you know the old school PS1 mate PS1 graphics are just shit but nostalgic anyways I've got a challenge the challenge is can I still kickflip how many attempts is it going to take for me to land a kickflip? Now I'm not talking about a kickflip stationary, although I will start on that. But I want to progress into, you know, travelling along. It's another reason why I'm down here, because this is a tennis court with no net. So it's absolutely perfect for my runs. I'm going to set the camera up. I'm going to get into this. I'm going to have a whole lot of fun doing it. And I hope you guys do too. Can I land a kickflip? Let's see. Not even joking, not even joking, and that's the, that's the third part of the story, okay? So I went out, I went online and I bought a second hand board. First skateboard I've owned in like, I'm gonna say 18 years, and this is it. This is what I got, it's second hand. <sighs> but she's gonna do the job. Pretty sure that, yeah, it's ABEC 9 bearings. We've got Thunder trucks. I have no idea what the wheels are, but can anyone tell me what kind of board this is? Dark Star. Anyway, grip tape looks good. I'm ready to go. That was literally my first. <laughs> I could have stacked it. Literally, halfway through that jump, I was like, holy shit, if I stack this, I don't even know what this is going to feel like, but it wasn't too bad. So, fuck, let's get into this. You know, I need to Ollie first. God damn. But we've got a board. We've got a nice overcast day. Let's go. Two things, these shoes suck and I need to tighten up my trucks. So I will be back in a, you know what. Next minute. Right guys, bit of bad news. Bit of bad news, I knew the guy was dodgy. He looked fucking dodgy, in fact he looked, he looked high on something when he, when he sold it to me, but I tell you what. This board is a real piece of work. Um, even if I, <laughs> I mean the board's okay, the board looks fucking near brand new, but the trucks and the wheels are just fucking shocking. Um, especially the trucks, like even if I did want to tighten either of these trucks up, I wouldn't be able to because there's absolutely fuck all thread on each of these nuts. So, hey, we're gonna have to do what we can do. I'm gonna stick with it. If I can, if I can land a kickflip going along, if I can land a kickflip in motion on this board, I'll be doing well. And I'll be very, very satisfied. But only time will tell. So let's keep going. Hey! 
What's that? Like a 180 double kick flip. That's a fucking hard flip. I need to trust that the flip's gonna land and I need to really concentrate on bringing my feet back round. Because there ain't no way I'm gonna land a kick flip if my feet go into the kick and then land like this, there's no way. So let's try that. It's gonna fuck me up. Maybe I need to really get over the board, not come out like this. Also, final thing, just remember, I need to concentrate on actually ollieing. I mean the move is within an ollie, so if you don't ollie properly, how are you going to kickflip properly? Okay. And I think I don't need to spin it as fast as I am. <laughs> Come on, you motherfucker.
motherfucker. Right, I'm gonna break it down into stages. But I'm, I'm jumping backwards. Strategy number five is make the movement as quick and as low as possible. So we're going to try that.
fucking hell. <laughs> Final strategy of the day. Oh, I feel like Casey Neistat. Um, the final strategy of the day is a, a scene change. We're going to come to the basketball court and uh, fucking give it a shot. Even if I do land it, I reckon I'll fall off. I don't think it's going to happen.
fucking can't. Nah, fuck it. It's all good. Oh, I can't believe it. Anyone that knows me will know just how frustrated I feel right now. There comes a point, there comes a point guys, where you gotta ask yourself, is it worth it? Oh fuck, can't believe it, haven't got it. Cannot fucking believe it, I was just like the dunk. Just like the dunk, I was quietly confident. I was never gonna say anything about it, but quietly confident if I stick at it long enough, it'll happen. And um, I, I just physically, I just don't have the muscle memory to do it. I do not, I, I mean, I can hardly land an ollie whilst moving, let alone a pop shove it, let alone a 180, let alone a kickflip, let alone a nolly. The height, ability, is still there, but the confidence when coming down to land, it doesn't matter whether it's an ollie or a kickflip, is just not there. And it hasn't come throughout this two hour period. So I'm gonna call it quits there, but there you go. The age old question, can I still kickflip? Unfortunately not. No, I can't, but God. This board, oh my God, look. Yeah, exactly, fucking exactly. These trucks are so fucking loose that there's wear on the board from the wheels, okay? So how can I expect to have a nice solid base to, to ollie and to kick off of when I can't even stay still on the board because the trucks are so loose? So I'm, that's my only excuse. Look, I don't use many. In fact, I don't normally use any, but I will use one today. And, and, and the fact is, guys, is that this board is, these wheels are too thin, or the trucks are too thin for the board. I think this is, look, there's no, there, there's, there's no spacer between the truck and the board. I mean, every single nut is just worn. It's just terrible. Terrible condition, trucks and wheels. The board's good, still, even though I've ripped the shit out of it. Um, not the best, not the worst. Great day out, a lot of fun, a lot of fun. Um, and, and once again, you know, you gotta dust yourself off. We live to see another day. I'm gonna have to take a couple of steps back to take those three steps forward. And not only do I want to eventually be able to dunk a ball, if my knee comes right, which I've tested today and it's okay. We'll see how it comes up later, but not only do I want to dunk a ball, I do want to do a kickflip. I want to land a kickflip. It's not gonna be on this board. It may be on this board, but it's certainly not gonna be with these trucks and wheels. So, in the next one, hopefully, I'll have uh, something sorted. But for now, I hope you enjoyed. This video probably went a fair, fairly long time. If nothing else, if nothing else, I gave it a good shot. And that's all you can do. You can try your best. I did try my best. The board does me absolutely no favors. But, like I said, I bought it from probably one of the dodgiest cunts I've ever seen in my life, so it's all good. Anyways, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Consider subscribing. Consider liking the video if you have enjoyed it. And I will see you in the next one.
One to the kickflip, zero to me. But I'll be back. <laughs>